the air hangs heavy with the stench of filth, human excreta and urine. The center is built in colonial days to, to hold eight inmates, as of today it's holding 244. And overcrowding is really our issue at present. Like in almost all of the country's prisons, the commander here says this place holds over three times its capacity. 70% of the trial inmates have not been indicted. Among them, this man, probably in his 40s. He has been behind bars for 15 years and now has mental health issues. No files exist on him. The walls are bedaubed with blood stains or even fecal substance. This place typifies the prisons in Sierra Leone. This tiny cell here holds 15 inmates. Most of them have not even been indicted yet and they've spent years in this facility. It's hot, it's smelly, because for 14 hours every day, they use inside this room as their toilet. Many of the inmates have developed scabies and other skin diseases. We want the authorities to provide prisoners with basic facilities, such as medical, regular food and water supply, as well as a proper place to sleep. Please, sir. Eight females in custody, sir. And all other visitors in. Visitors in! It is a lot better inside the female prison, but only just. They are also overcrowded with prisoners. These innocent babies, aged between two weeks and seven months, have become prisoners because their mothers are here. Going through all what I've seen at the Bow Male Correctional Center, it means we have a lot to do. That's my impression. It must be shocking. More than shocking. We are putting our gears together to see how we can mitigate some of the suffering our people are going through. Definitely, God being our helper, with the assistance of donor community and good friends, definitely will live up to the expectation of the human rights issues people are talking about. Campaigners say the country's entire prison service is broken. It's, it's quite appalling, it's quite challenging, and it's really need urgent action to be fixed. It needs to be fixed because it's broken. You'll be shocked to know that, in fact, people on traffic offenses and misdemeanor actually are populating the prisons more than any other person else. Only one truck services all the prisons in the region. Without a lockup or toilet for the courts, male and female prisoners standing trial are crammed inside here all day and they use it as their toilets. Back to the prison where these women sing, promising to turn to a new page once they leave here. Omar Fofana, BBC News, Southern Sierra Leone.